Hello, in this free.js video, we are gonna look at how to draw geometry. There are various geometry that you can draw. You can draw, yeah, you can draw spheres, you can draw boxes, you can add colors, textures, all that other stuff. For now, it's gonna keep it simple and draw a cube. So, before we actually show you how to draw it, what we wanna do is just go to the free js.org website so i want to show you if you go to documentation you can see all the different types of drawing methods that you can use because though we're going to be drawing a cube which is the box geometry you can either draw a circle cylinder dodecahedron you can do various types of geometry so this is a great way of looking okay i want to do a sphere geometry because maybe you want to you create a football you would click on that it gives you an example of it and then it also gives you some example code and it explains it but like i said we're going to be dealing with box geometry but the principle is exactly the same go on the website check it out read about it and just take a look at this code so let's go back to our text data so first of all we are going to create a variable called ge geometry so create the shape this formatting doesn't look right so let's just sort this out okie dokie so let me just sort this out because obviously I, I don't like it like this at all I don't know why there's a empty semicolon there not good at all sort this out Give me a moment. Almost done. Obviously, this is just personal preference, how you format your code. I just like it like this. I'm sure everyone has their own coding standards that they adhere to. Almost done. Just a couple more brackets to go. Okay, like we were saying, we were creating the shape. To do that, do var geometry equals new free dot box geometry. Let's just get rid of that messy. Let's turn mail off so it doesn't disturb us. So free dot box geometry one 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 so this is just a size of one in the x-axis one the y-axis one in the z-axis aka a width of one a depth of one and a height of one now we are going to create a material color or image texture whatever you want we're just going to create a basic mesh material and just assign a color value to it in a tutorial in, in another tutorial we will cover how to actually assign image textures to make it look a lot more realistic so var material equals new free dot mesh basic material and in here, do angle brackets, and now you specify the properties of your basic material. So we're gonna put color, we're gonna put a hexadecimal value, and to do that, you do zero, X, and now your hex value, and put FF, 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 and that is white, because all the colors are all the way on. I'm gonna set wireframe to false. We can easily change it to true as well. We're going to do var cube, which equals new. Oops, easy. Got to go down. We got to do var cube equals new free dot mesh, and this just takes two simple simple parameters: the geometry, so geometry, and the material, so material. And finally, we can do scene 
dot add cube save that and now if we go back to our browser refresh my thinking can't see anything and the simple reason for that is the cube is rendered at the origin the camera is rendered at the origin so where the camera is inside the cube so what we want to do is just change the position of the camera slightly we're going to do camera dot set I mean dot position dot z equals three so this is just moving it closer to us refresh okay it's not appearing so let's inspect it make sure there's no errors we got an error free is not defined on line 32 okie dokie it is not liking var geometry equals new free dot geometry one 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 ah i got it it should be capital free my bad so I'll copy that paste it there paste it there if i were to save it just comment at this line so you can actually see what it would look like with it working and as you can see we can't see anything because we're inside of the cube and if we go back on comment refresh we have our cube you might be thinking it looks like a square yeah and the reason for that is because we're looking at it front on so to illustrate that it is a cube we're going to set wireframe to true so all we're going to see is the outline refresh and there you go you can now see that we have a cube drawn to go one step further what we're going to do in the update method we're going to rotate our cube every frame we're going to do cube dot rotation dot x plus equals 0 0.01 cube dot rotation dot y plus equals 0 0.005 save that refresh and as you can see you can now see that it is a cube if we were to go back and disable wireframe mode so set that to false go back refresh it's hard to see that it is a cube and the simple reason for that is we've used a basic material which isn't affected by lighting you don't need any lighting to see it there's no shadows casted so you can't get a true 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 understanding that there is depth in our scene and in our objects but in later videos we'll have lighting we'll have different textures different materials so you'll be able to actually see without having to enable wireframe wireframe whether it's a 3d object or not but this is just a great basis for moving forward so let's just set this to wireframe again refresh and there you go we have our box geometry like i said if you want to draw something else feel free to go to something like cylinder shows you an example shows you some simple code as you can see it's really simple instead of having box geometry you have cylinder geometry you still have mesh basic color that just just adds a color instead of adding other values such as wireframe and then it just creates a mesh using the same method that we did for box geometry then it adds it to the scene it really is that simple thank you very much if you have any questions feel free to message us and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day